Hi, my name is Aaron Trost, and my company is Farmers Be Hemp. My mission with Farmers Be Hemp is to educate small local farmers on sustainable agriculture, help them optimize their crop yield, and provide a way to help fortify the food supply chain by using what we already have. Our focus is to create a sustainable food system by implementing smart agriculture through data collection and connecting producers to sellers through the distribution and processing of honey and hemp products. Our market, who we will sell to, is the small local farmers. And since 2019, the Kansas hemp market has just began to take off. K-State is now one of the global leaders in hemp agricultural research. Mandy Kerr from the Global Hemp Association and John Baxter from Operation Honeybee recently held in 2021 a podcast discussing the connection between hemp and bees. Some of the issues that they had brought up were getting connected to small farmers, educating and educating them about new technologies through sustainable agriculture and crop yield optimization. So we want to educate farmers and help them grow. We want to partner with those small farmers who value sustainable food chains and for future generations by offering them a, the opportunity to keep bees and optimize their, the pollination for their current crops. We want to further optimize their crop yield through AI monitoring, data collection with drones and for crops and sensors for beehives, and have AI spit out solutions and other formulas that help farmers make the best decisions with the data that has been collected. With the money from the bees and optimizing their current crops, they can start this pro application process for licensing of industrial hemp to grow, distribute, and process it with ease. Industrial hemp can be put into a crop rotation and it gives bees food in late summer months. It also requires less pesticides than other row crops that are currently being grown in Kansas. And because there's more than one use for industrial hemp, it is better to be grown than single-use food crops because it has different sustainable alternatives. Uh, it can make different sustainable alternatives to current products that are being produced. So the competition, Kansas is actually, Kansas hemp, the Kansas hemp community is growing uh, drastically. After the hemp industry uh, and then changes in legislation regarding the regulations of the growing of cannabis, specifically industrial hemp in Kansas, the, the community has started in Kansas through South Bend Industrial Hemp, Midwest Hemp, Ad Astra Seed Company, and Tallgrass uh, Hemp and Cannabis, as well as Planted Association of Kansas, who was co-founded by Emporia State alumni Kelly Ripple. Uh, global, the South Bend Industrial Hemp and Midwest Hemp is also uh, members of the Global Hemp Association. So we want to generate sales through the education, implementation, and distribution, uh, starting marketing towards small farmers and so that we can see the biggest changes. And we want to focus on the farmers, the farmers market who grow food on a small scale for local communities. All materials from the bees and hemp will be sold locally to businesses that create sustainable and healthy products. And a portion of the hemp will be manufactured into different kinds of clothing. Uh, so small, arti small local artists can uh, get help with starting their brand. We want to see ease of entry through hemp, into hemp through honey. And the initial startup costs for all the training and equipment needed for, to start keeping bees is less than $700 and we will see a full return on, on this investment after the first harvest of honey. Farmers will agree to a contract that, spe that are specific to each farmer, and it will detail how much farmers want to sell back to Farmers Be Hemp or sell for themselves. Contract states where the raw materials will go, as well as will state where they'll go, and we want to supply quality materials to businesses that make sustainable, environmentally friendly, and healthy products. And we want to make crop yield optimization and distribution as easy as possible for farmers. Our next step is to get connected into the growing industrial hemp industry of Kansas, and specifically Planted Association with Kansas, specifically Kelly Ripple, and reach out to Global Hemp Association and Operation Honeybee. Uh, John Baxter from Operation Honeybee has the artificial intelligence uh, monitoring systems, drones, and the algorithms for optimizing crop yield, um, and there are other industry leaders as well in this field. But Farmers Be Hemp uh, wants to bring together the missing pieces of the puzzle to create a sustainable and connected future. Thank you.